Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful winter day here in 2020. This is why I am a snowbird, because it is now Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. It is Christmas Eve Eve, and me and the little dog. We are floating down this spring-fed creek out in this undisclosed swamp, enjoying it while we still can here in the collapse of a planet here in the waning days of 2020 before the temperature drops 43 degrees tomorrow on Christmas Eve in a space of about four hours. So those little, what look like stumps in the water, that's an old bridge. So where I am is this is what is left of uh, this cypress swamp. I don't know when this beautiful area was logged out. There's a tiny smattering of these giant cypress trees and uh, still left here and you know it's just hard to believe that there used to be roads and logging trucks coming through here. I mean where did they ever you know it, it defies imagination but uh, how mother nature reclaims uh, so anyway I am uh, enjoying this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day. This is why I am a snowbird living in Florida in the winter where you can be barefooted in December at least for the next 24 hours. And uh, so I have been up this creek. This is a little spring-fed creek. Uh, winding through the swamp. Uh, I have been out here on this little creek. I'm just floating down. See, the nice thing about Florida is you can you can just paddle upstream against the current, which isn't much of a challenge. And then you just lean back and let the uh, and let the current just take you back to the put in. Uh, so I've been out here, little dog and I, I don't know, for an hour, hour and a half. We have seen one other person, one other person here in uh, the snowbird capital of the world. And they told me there is nobody up there meaning the springs are somewhere six to ten miles up there. Obviously, I'm not going to make it today. Someday I'll make it back up to those springs where unfortunately, you know, some rich person has a house. So you can't get out at the actual springs at the end of this long winding creek. Uh, so anyway, I am, where I am is 10 minutes from Crazy Crane Campground, Hip Camp. Uh, we had some tribes members join me last week at my little bivouac at Crazy Crane Campground. And Brother Eric is showing up for Christmas Eve tomorrow to come check out Crazy Crane campground hip camp so if you want to come join me in the world famous Sancho Panza and uh, bring a canoe up here uh, just come on down and visit us and might need to bring your own paddles so uh, fortunately I had these all paddles I just uh, a friend of mine bought me some $300 
kayak paddles about a year ago. I never had a chance to use them for various reasons. So the very, very first time I ever was going to try out the $300 kayak paddles, I put them in the back of my truck and threw in the uh, $75 kayak on top of the $300 paddles, took the five minute drive from uh, Crazy Crane Campground to the uh, kayak launch, got there. There were no $300 paddles in the back of my truck. I went racing back, tracing my, tracing my steps and uh, needless to say, Someone had gotten them a early Christmas present, so I will never get to test what makes a kayak paddle cost $300, because I never again will own a $300 kayak paddle. But uh, these paddles came with the $75 kayak that I bought in Maine. I bought this little kayak in Maine. And we have taken some gorgeous trips in the little 10 foot otter. And uh, man, that blinding sun. Good Lord, they don't call it the sunshine state for nothing. The blinding winter sun. I have no idea where the creek is anymore. I am completely blinded by the winter time sun so this is an excellent way to uh, get out there and enjoy it while you still can and forget about doomsday for a while uh, forget about doomsday you know and this is such a perfect example is of what people who have never been to Florida don't understand about Florida. Even going into the year 2021, you know, this is one of the most populous states now. What are we? The, is Florida the third? It's the third or the fourth most populated state out of the 50 states. And uh, people just have this vision of Florida that it is just, you know, wall-to-wall -wall, uh, strip malls and condos and amusement parks and uh, trailer parks and golf courses and billionaire mansions. And, now, don't get me wrong, you can find plenty of that probably within a, about a 20-mile radius of about 20 miles from right where I'm on this kayak in a straight line to that Best Buy that I was at last night in the middle of this horror show at uh, the Best Buy in Ocala, Florida. And I am sure that 20 miles from where I am sitting out here in this gorgeous slice of paradise, that Best Buy is crammed with people buying this planet-eating crap. Uh, so, the priorities we have, you know, make your own prioritize while you still can, but uh, there is plenty of the old Florida still left and uh, you just need to know where to look for it. So if you want to experience what Florida is supposed to look like and feel like, come on down and join me at Crazy Crane Campground at Hip Camp and uh, we will load up the canoe and the little dog if he hasn't gotten eaten by an alligator since then. And uh, we will set out and find a taste of the old Florida. 
which is why this place has always been. I, I still say Florida is one of the most gorgeous spots on planet Earth. It is a, I mean, it's just the unbelievable tragedy what they have done to so much of this state that, uh, just need to know where to look to uh, escape the collapse while well, you still can and uh, so this is the way I am spending Christmas Eve Eve it's me and my little dog And the little chirping birds.
If the air boats don't get you, the airplanes will. Cannot get away for long from the sound of fossil fuels. Look at the reflection of those beautiful cypress. There's a few big cypress either left or I guess these are the second growth coming back to repopulate. I have a lot of room to talk since I just built my outdoor kitchen out of cypress. The guy at the sawmill told me he is out of logs. He is out of cypress logs. He's finding it harder and harder to find any logs to mill. Those pesky environmentalists, I'm sure. Thank God those pesky environmentalists didn't keep peanut from sawing, from cutting down and sawing up all those cypress trees. That went into Crazy Crane Campground. What would I have done of those damn tree huggers had kept peanut from finding any more logs I wouldn't have a kitchen. But that cypress wood sure makes a beautiful kitchen. Which is why there's no big cypress trees left. Anybody who does not understand this. Uh, <laughs> yes. The irony of humans. Alright, the sun is beginning to set. And me and the little dog need to get back. Crazy crane campground in our cypress wood kitchen. And get ready for the big blow tomorrow on Christmas Eve. I need to take a little dog. Are you ready to get back? He said, Pop, this is boring. This is boring. Get me back to my squirrelies. Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.